What's up everybody, Chinstrap here. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through how I made this Mysterio art on a post-it note. Let's go. All right, so starting off with a pencil sketch. The line work for this is gonna be pretty simple. I started off using a circle template to get that nice round dome that he has for our head. And then really all I gotta do is sketch in the cape, get it kind of flowy and foldy and looking all cool under there. And that's really gonna be pretty much it for the line work on this guy, not a whole lot going on. Now, I cut out the dome out of this purple post-it note and then glued it on top of a green post-it note. That way we can get the purple cape and use purple markers on that, but still have the nice green effect on the dome. So for the dome, I took my darkest green first and put in this kind of little hint of a skull kind of look there. And then I basically just took two or three more greens and started making this cloud effect working from dark to light, making little squiggles and blending them out. So that at the end, we have this misty look in there and you can just barely see the kind of hints of a skull or a face kind of peeking through. For the cape, I used three different purples. I started with my darkest one and I'm working dark to light, starting with the shadows and then blending up to the lights. And I'm using the color of the post-it note as my lightest color. So even though I'm only using three markers, I'm actually getting four values out of this, four different shades of purple that I'm using here. And I'm just blending up, making sure to leave the purple as the highlight. Then I took a white colored pencil to kind of add a little bit of shine on top of the dome, give it a little bit of a glassy look. And then I wanted kind of a smoky, mysterious background, kind of like what we did in the dome. So I basically am doing the same thing as I did on the green, but now I'm using cool grays. I used four or five different grays and I started with the darkest one, made some squiggles and then blended it out going a step lighter with each one. And that's how you can get this nice little misty effect back there going with the theme of Mysterio. Now I'm taking my white gel pen and doing a little outline around the character to help him pop and adding a couple final shines on the dome to really give the illusion that it's made out of glass. And there we go. We now have Mysterio on a post-it. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and check the link in my description if you want to see more. I have a Gumroad with digital prints and a 35 minute video giving you the basics on how to get started with alcohol markers. And right now, if you join my Patreon at any tier, you will get that 35 minute video as a free bonus. Get in there before this deal ends. I'll see y'all in the next one.